Hey everybody, it's Bubble LPs. Welcome back to some more Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories. In the last episode, we went through one more floor of Castle Oblivion, but now Sora kind of snapped. He told Donald and Goofy that they could go take a nap for all he cares. That just shows you how much of a little sweetheart Sora is if that's the worst insult he could possibly come up with. Anyway, we got a card from Riku, which will bring us to the Destiny Islands, but the weird thing about it is that we didn't just get a card. Riku dropped a good luck charm that was exactly like Nominees, claimed that it was Nominees, ran off. There are a lot of questions left unanswered, but we have a card that came from that good luck charm. Somehow. So, let's go ahead and use it. As you may have noticed, Doll and Goofy are not on this floor. Where are they? Taking a nap. Who knows? Who knows? But. They're not going to help at all throughout all of the Destiny Islands. So, there was a card somewhere. I forget exactly what it was called, but basically it said, if you have friends their friend cards will appear at the beginning of fights. The word if kind of spoiled this, but yeah. N no, no friends here. I'm not going crazy, am I? I know exactly where this is. Well, I would hope so. The, it kind of said it on the card. Yeah, this is our island. Okay, so they zoomed in on his face for like a second and then went back to the default model. Where Nam and I used to play together. Really? Hey! What's up, Sora? So, what you want to do today? Oh, I want to beat all of you with Sonic Blade since I couldn't do it in the first game because all I had was Sliding Dash and freaking Tita was ruining everything while Waka was throwing a ball at me. And Selfie just sucks. Hey, guys. Am I glad to see you, uh... Uh, what? We got food on our faces? Please, Waka. Only you could be dumb enough to not notice food stuck on your face. Hey, whoa, that's a low blow, yeah? I don't know, Waka. I think Selfie's on the mark. Oh, not you too, Titus. Oh, yeah, you're Selfie walking Titus. That's who you are. Good job, Sora. Coming from the guy that never played Final Fantasy games or didn't even know what Final Fantasy was until he played Kingdom Hearts. You're an idiot for not knowing these characters' names. Moving on. You hit your head? No, uh, just thinking out loud. <laughs> I know, you're thinking about her again. Ooh, her. Oh, I get it. Yeah, he's a total zombie when she's on his mind. That would explain why he's acting all funny towards us. I bet you want us to take a hike so you two can be alone, huh? Wow, okay. Selfie. Getting kind of close there. Um, I guess. Alright, alright. We'll disappear for a while. Go find her, cowboy. Cowboy? Stud. Tiger. Cowboy? Why cowboy? We'll try to be quiet while we spy on you. Oh, okay. Hey, Sora, serious. Give the guy some room. I'm only kidding. See you later, Sora. Yeah, he's only kidding about kidding. He's gonna stalk on us from up on a tree. <laughs> anyway, Kia Beginnings. Kind of like Twilight Town, Destiny Islands isn't that long. But as always, things are extremely weird because this is not at all what the Destiny Islands actually look like. They've got the scenery, but the actual Destiny Islands was nothing but a giant empty beach. The fact that this is even a concept is just so weird. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. I, I want to get as much Moogle points as possible. Because I'm going to need to get the best cards I possibly can within the next floor or two. Yeah, I said floor or two. There are more yeah. floors after this. So let's move on and um, 
Yeah, you only need a level value of one to get through this first door, but I'm gonna have to start card grinding, which I'm gonna start right here in the unknown room. But as you can see, here's the regular door we need to go into, then there's the key to rewards rooms, and the final room is way over here. So this isn't too long, it's pretty, li well, not linear, but kind of like an upside down backwards L shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and fight all these heartless, and I will see you guys in just a sec. <laughs> Actually, I might as well go ahead and show you guys the Heartless that do appear here. So, Heartless you're familiar with, you're used to fighting in Chain of Memories, they have a lot more HP now. So, it may take some time to actually kill all these things. Which is another reason I love having Sonic Blade. Alright, Guarded Tro- okay, I'll take that. That's a easy item to get. I'm probably going to have to end up fighting Heartless anyway just to get the card, so the fact that it's a guarded trove and not just a calm bounty really helps out. Also, these are the guys I really want to show off. There we go. So yeah, they've got a little bit over one full bar of health. And one Sonic Blade isn't even enough to take them out from me, so... Oh, I completely missed them. Oh well. But yeah, the Heartless aren't too bad to deal with. The cards are around six maybe seven so by far the hardest heartless to deal with but if you can beat bosses beating heartless should not be hard okay that's pretty much all i gotta say now don't do something stupid like me and mess around to the point where oh crap and mess around to the point where you just die to a level one car because you're not paying attention or you're not prepared yeah don't be that guy Alright, what I get? I need something hot. <gasps> roulette room! A roulette room! Ah! Oh my god, I've been waiting for this the whole freaking game! Okay, leveled up in that fight, but anyway, the reason I was freaking out so much is because, as you guys may remember from earlier in the game, the roulette room basically allows you to fight Heartless, and after you're done, you pretty much choose which card out of a giant roulette that you want to use. It's a value of one, which is all I need. So I'm going to use this now. And whenever I need a specific value card, I'm coming straight to the roulette room. Also, I'm going to try to destroy as many Heartless in here and make sure that I've got another roulette room card because last time, kind of lost my roulette card. Would you? Thank you. Okay, unfortunately didn't get a roulette at all from that one, but in time, in time, no big deal, I'm not in any rush. Okay, um, I didn't get another roulette, but I got another roulette room card, um, so lucky me, um, the game loves me. Um... Okay, I'm looking for a no okay tornado. What is this? Is this something I actually use because I don't think so No, it is not arrow gravity and a summer card blow away enemies in the right area inflicting damage and stunning them so basically a roga on steroids <laughs> But um wow I'm looking for a roulette so I can choose what cards I get. Instead, I got another roulette room card. Yeah. And I just got another random joker. So for those of you that either forgot or just didn't know already, the random joker card is a substitute card. You can put it in place of anything except for the key to beginning guidance and truth card. And also the key of rewards card. So, um, also, instead of playing a total value of, like, 50 or whatever they ask you to play, you can just play a random joker and it'll take place of the entire thing. So, I've been saving one of those for the very last door of the game, and you'll see why when I get to it. But as for now, wow, that may have helped me for 
another random room. Um, what? Well, don't touch me. Okay, you gotta go all the way over here. So I've got one, two, three, four rooms, and then the final one. Okay, are you ever touched the? All right, well, good news is I got a roulette out of that. Bad news is I don't know what I need. So, since they're rare, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this nine card because who knows if I'm ever gonna need a nine on the dot. If I just need a certain value and up, I can always use a zero, so that's no big deal. All right, need a two or higher, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this. Unfortunately, the Heartless are gonna have some higher value cards, but hey. Sonic Blade. It means no worries. As long as you swing your key blade. I would finish making a parody of that song, but I think that's the reason I got into a fight in the first place. Anyway, let's make our way down here since the door's right there. We need a two, an eight, and a... Wow. Okay, well, I got the two. I'm gonna go ahead and grab an eight out of the roulette room. Be right back. Okay, so there are no eights in here, but there are two roulette rooms! Just wanted to let you guys know, leveled up, and I'm at 1000 CP. Bow down before me. Okay, finally got an eight card out of that roulette room. I also got three total roulette room cards since I've used that other roulette room so yay <laughs> um I was so worried that I have to do a lot of card grinding but now I'm not scared at all let's go ahead and use the key of beginnings let's see what happens in this first room Everyone else took a hike so we can be alone with her. Apparently Riku's a her. His Sora was the big rush. I know you. You're Riku. Um, sorry, did, you just fought Riku. And that's how you got, how did you forget and then remember? Dang. Gee, thanks for remembering me. It's been what a couple of hours probably like 15 20 minutes uh never mind are you okay are you still under his control what are you talking about i get it you must be the riku from my memories he's understanding the riku from my memories sounds like you're stuck in the land of make-believe he finally understands but then Riku, okay, <laughs> I guess I kind of am. <laughs> You're such a kid. How are you gonna take care of her if you act like that? Oh, wow, okay. Everyone keeps stressing the word her. Hey, speaking of her. What's happening? How should I know? Whatever it is, it can't be good. I'm gonna go warn the others. Yeah, because they didn't sense no vibrations or anything. Then I should go. I know, I know. It's your job to look after her. Go, Sora. Okay. I'm going to go warn the others that the entire island that they're standing on just shook. Because there's no way they know. Okay, please tell me I don't need an outrageous amount of cards from now on. Like, if I don't have to card grind like I thought I did, that'd be amazing. That's all I've been talking about for I don't know how many videos. I'm gonna have to card grind. I'm gonna have to card grind. Then the game just kept giving me luck. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Let's stay away. Stay away. Don't wanna fight anymore. Stupid old mighty heartless. Yeah. Ooh, card. Blizzard, blizzard. A zero blizzard. Hmm. Interesting. I'll go with interesting. I might be able to use that. Not necessarily for Blizzaga, but maybe just as an extra zero card. Or it could also be used for Blizzaga. 
Maybe. Putting all this thought into a card that I might not actually use. Yeah. Okay, move points, move points. Well, dang. This is a very long ladder. And for me to just fall down this ladder to climb all the way back. I lost my CP. Or MP, I mean. I can't believe I just lost. Okay. Um, let's grab the bounty out of here. I know there's still gonna be some heartless, but hey, who cares? Run around them, man. Okay. No ladders for me, thanks. I've got crit. You guys are a lot more threatening when you're not guarding anything. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, um, oh! Stupid shadow. Okay, I got another roulette room card, and I leveled up. I'm loving the Destiny Islands right now. I'm loving it! Okay. Avoid you! Nice. So much for guarded trove, the only thing that got me was a freaking shadow. Alright, and judgment. You get an arrow card and two attack cards. Hurl the keyblade toward the enemy for multiple attacks. Hurl the keyblade. Now, I'm probably never going to use this, but hey, Sora, you probably should use it a lot on every enemy that just yeah. takes away some damsel in distress. It would make things a lot easier. Anyway, I need a 7 or higher. Let's go with... Hmm. I'm going to have to use another guarded trope. Uh, I'll go with the zero because I got two of them. I want to save that nine just in case I do need a nine on the dot. Because hey, I needed it in Hollow Bastion and it came down to one fight that I was lucky to even have run into. Oh, you know what? Why don't I actually go get the treasure? Because it may not be completely worthless. I mean, I know I already got the main thing, but it may be a decent card. Who knows? All right, no shadows, no shadow. Ooh, give me blizzard level. Why do I keep getting weak blizzards? I don't get that. Seriously, these are the worst guardians ever. Okay, five cure. And I need a one or higher. I'll just go ahead and use the looming darkness. Wait, is this the... Yeah, this is the golden room. So I gotta keep... Okay. Let's hurry up and get over here before I run into any more... I got another one card, but what the freaking do? Let's move. Come on. Like, I gotta avoid all these heartless so I'm not on this island forever. Um, two or higher, two or higher. Let's just play Mingling Worlds, where anything can happen. But anyway, what I was trying to say earlier was, I could have just gone straight to the Golden Reward Room, but I'd rather just keep making my, my way to the end of the world, and then in that special episode where I'm going to show off only the Key to Reward Rooms, that's when I'll come back and do this. Oh, and this is actually a false bounty room. Okay, so, um, which one of these is real? Wow, I got the right one. Okay, the thing about false bounty rooms is it's, it's kind of like guarded trove, except nothing's actually guarding it. And two of the chests are enemies. So, like so. That was only a few enemies, so it was worth showing off in tech. I'm getting a lot of guarded trolls for some reason. Anyway, this is the last one we gotta go into. We have to play up to a value of 50. But 
I got me a second random joker. So yeah, the last room in the game is actually worse than that. That's what I was afraid of this whole time. The island. Build by the science guard. Yeah, for anyone who didn't watch my Kingdom Hearts Final Mix LP, you should kind of watch that to understand the whole Bill Nye thing. It starts off with episode one, so that'll explain everything. Anyway, uh, Dark Side, rather, is a little bit more annoying in this game because it's card based. So. Alright, look, Sonic Blade's not even doing as much as it was before. That's problem number one for me. Problem number two is. Oh! Well, I'll go ahead and show this off real quick. If he goes to attack and you swing at him, you can't do too many hits on him because he's moving around too much and he's way faster than he was. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and use this. And that'll make a bunch of platforms rise. And it leads directly up to his head, which does a lot more damage. And also, I don't think he attacks during all this. Let's see if Sonic Blade will actually work up here. No, it will not. <laughs> I'd go straight back down to the ground. So, that was a failed experiment. Oh. I meant to lock onto his head. Can I lock onto his head, please? Thank you, at least I'm doing damage. Well, that's a little bit of damage, but yeah, this guy's annoying because of how fast he is and how, like, how much his body parts just move. It's actually very annoying. You don't get to do too much damage at once, and yet this fight does drag out. And it's not like before where you can just sit there and reflect everything right back to his head and you get experience points and all that good stuff. It's just obnoxious. Nothing more, nothing less. And I actually should have gotten run right in front of his head so I can rise up on the platform, but... Oh well, what's done is done. And I'm actually doing more damage by hitting his head just by doing this, so... I'm glad I keep getting those Mickey cards. And I wish I would stop unlocking from his head. One, yes, thank you. Hit again. At least spells do a wide range of damage. Oh, are you kidding me? You know what? Fire, freeze. There. there we go. Fire. Some long range fires should do the trick if they hit. Freeze. One more hit, come on. Heal. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you with a zero. There you go. How's that? Have fun. Goodbye, Bill Nye. Um, sorry I have to destroy you again for the fourth time, but hey, it's just how Kingdom Hearts works. And he sucks so much that he didn't even give me enough experience to level up. Come on, Dark Side. I thought you were better than that. Actually, I didn't. Okay, I have to keep her safe. Namine, can you hear me? Oh. Namine! Sora, you really came for me. It's you! It's really you! I've been through so much just to see you. Yes, I wanted to see you too. But this isn't right. I messed up. I wanted to see you. But this isn't the right way. Nominee? I was lonely for so long. I just couldn't bear it anymore. So I called out to your heart and had you come all the way out to this place. You came for me and I'm so, so happy, but... But to your heart I had to. Don't worry. I'm here because I promised that I would protect you. Sora... 
Thank you. And I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to be in this picture. That's true. <gasps> Nominee? That isn't me. I'm not there. I don't really exist inside your heart. I don't exist in anyone's heart. I never have existed anywhere. What... what are you saying? What's gotten into you? Weren't we inseparable? Always together? But then, you had to go away. I came here so I'd never lose you again. Was it really me you wanted to see? Of course it was! I know I've forgotten a lot of things in this castle, but never anything about you. <sighs> Look! You gave this to me, didn't you? You have it. My good luck charm. No, Sora! You can't believe me! What am I supposed to do? Think, Sora. Think just one more time. About who's most special to you. Call out to that piece of memory that glimmers faintly deep inside your heart. No matter how far away the light gets, your heart's voice will always reach it. Who's most special to me? <laughs> That's an easy one. It's you, Nami. Who? Who was that? I can't remember her, but she feels so familiar. Nominee? Nominee! And with that, we attained the Oath Keeper. Very fitting. Because we swore to keep an oath. But we kind of forgot it. Anyway. Um... Yeah, people have been asking in the comment section about Kyrie and what the whole deal is, why there's something similar to her, Naminé, blah, 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 blah. You'll find out soon enough. Uh, for those of you that already do know because you played the game, you guys know what's about to come up next, and, uh, yeah, things are about to get rough. But anyway, let's grab the rest of these things. I'm getting a lot of Moogle points, but it's been a long time since I've actually gotten a Moogle room. Maybe I'll use one of those roulette rooms pretty soon, and I'll go ahead and get as many possible cards as I can. And really max my deck out as much as possible. I've still got almost 100 CP worth. No, a little over 100 CP worth to add to my deck. I'm not going to worry about it now, because I think what i got is just fine, but... Actually, before I end things off, I'm going to go ahead and max out my Fire Rogas. No, wait, should I max out my Fire No, I don't think I should max out my Fire Rogas just yet. What about Blizzard? Yeah, Blizzard. And I'll go ahead and add some arrows in here because now I'll be able to use homing Blizzara. Alright, it needs to be... 16 or under, which, mmm. Let's get rid of the four. Yeah, there we go. That'll work. That will do. Okay, and with that, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, thank you guys very much for watching. Goodbye.